Okay, in today's video, we're gonna be making homemade hot cocoa. But first, we've gotta make us some powder sugar. I'm gonna be using my regular white sugar, and we're gonna make powder sugar to make our hot cocoa. Let's get started. All you need is some regular white sugar and some kind of food processor. I'm actually gonna be using my Ninja. You can use any kind of blender or any kind of processor to make this powder sugar. What we're gonna do is measure us out one cup because that's what our cocoa recipe calls for. Okay, y'all, we're gonna make our powder sugar first for our hot cocoa mix because I don't have any. So it's so easy and simple. All you do is you'll take one cup of regular white sugar and put it to a food processor or a blender. I'm using my Ninja processor. You can use any kind of blender. And then you're gonna take one teaspoon of cornstarch and add to your one cup of white sugar. That right there is so easy and simple to make homemade powder sugar. And you don't have to go out and buy a separate kind. I'm gonna show y'all what it looks like if I can get the camera to zoom. See, it's just like the powder sugar you buy. And that helps you save money because you only have to buy one kind of sugar. And you'll be needing a container to put your hot cocoa in. So I've got me a mason jar, but we're gonna go ahead first and we're gonna use this big bowl in case I have more than a mason jar full. So I'll have room to mix it up. This right here is great to take camping. We're going camping soon. So I thought I'd make me and my daughter-in-law some of this hot cocoa to have at the campground. And it's good just for any time of year. And this right here makes a great Christmas gift for like teachers or even family members that you just need something small for. Anybody would like to get a jar full of hot cocoa and you can decorate the top with a little ribbon and put a little card on there. Okay, that's our one cup of powdered sugar. Now we're gonna do our one and a half cups of powdered milk. See if I can get it measured down in there. Okay, I'm gonna have to spoon it in there so I don't overdo the powdered milk. Okay, that's one. And now we're gonna do our Hershey's chocolate cocoa. And we're gonna do three-fourths cup of the cocoa mix. Okay, that's three-fourths of a cup. And now we're gonna add a half a teaspoon of salt. And you can use kosher salt, but I'm using pink salt because that's what I've got and I've used it before and it tastes, it makes it have just that little bit of salt taste that you need in something sweet. 
Okay, now that's all your powder ingredients, so we're gonna go ahead and give that a mix. Oh, it smells like chocolate already in here. And we hadn't even made any of it yet. Right here is gonna be good to have sitting around the campfire. Just mix it till you see all that your milk and your chocolate and your sugar is well combined. Okay, now we're gonna get it ready and put it in our container. Okay, I'm gonna use my canning funnel to put it in my jar so I, hopefully I don't make a mess. I love making my own homemade hot chocolate because doing it this way, you know what's in yours. You don't get all those extra preservatives in them that we don't want. Okay, y'all, right there we have our homemade hot chocolate mix. And now to my jar, I'm just going to add me a few of my little chocolate chips. Now what you can do is you can make this all at one time in one big batch, or you could make it like one or two cups at a time. But if you know you're gonna have a lot of people, you could take this jar and make your hot cocoa one time and have enough probably for around 10 people. And now to that, we're just gonna add our marshmallows as many or as little marshmallows as you'd like in it and I use chocolate chips you could even use caramel chips or whatever you like but that right there is an easy way to make homemade hot chocolate okay y'all we're gonna make a cup and let you see how it turns out I'm just gonna get me a little bit out from the bottom of my jar and I'm getting a few of the chocolate chips so they'll be in the bottom of my cup. And we're gonna add about two tablespoons. And now we're just gonna give her a hot chocolate of mix. And look how pretty that is. And see how the chocolate chips are melting? So that's gonna give you some extra chocolate in your hot chocolate. some extra goodness, okay? All my chocolate chips have melted now. And now to that, I'm gonna add just a few more marshmallows to the top. Okay, y'all, that's your perfect cup of homemade hot chocolate. Okay, y'all, I hope you like our video on how to make homemade hot chocolate. And if you do, don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.